Hello, I'm Hirti Kalori. I'm currently executive chairman of Nekman. 好，大家好，我是王浩然，我来自三菱电机中国。我们的企业刚刚完成了数字化转型。Really nice to meet you. 很高兴见到你。Uh, the, the early 2000s were, and that's that's really an understatement, a pivotal year in tourism. And up to that point, and in order to be successful in travel, you needed really to understand the travel world and the travel consumer behavior. All of a sudden, this was no longer good enough. Suddenly, you also needed a solid understanding of online commerce and the fast-paced environment around it. And we felt that Thomas Cook challenged by a lot of newcomers. They had little experience in travel, but they were focused on technology and online commerce. And suddenly, and a little bit unexpected, we had to excel in two completely different domains, so to speak. We had a lot of history in tourism, for sure, but we had, for a simple reason, zero experience in online commerce. No one, or no one, could have the experience. So we had to be quick learners. But moreover, we had to marry old technology, our old world, with a completely new world. 呃，首先，三菱电机是一家在中国工业自动化领域里非常有影响力的公司。为了对众多的客户提供专业的技术服务，我们采取了代理制的销售模式。呃，所以我们并不直接与三菱的用户交易，但是呢，我们需要掌握终端市场的需求变化，以此作为我们制定销售策略的依据。Because our backend was still 70s, 80s, and our company Thomas Cook had become internationally number two in Europe as far as packaged travel was concerned. There were really a large number of product lines: air packages, city packages, long haul tickets, short breaks, ski holidays, just name it. And all of them had their own logic. There were tons of data and a huge amount of analytical travel combinations. In the past, our agencies. People used to guide the customer through the search and book process. Now it had to happen by itself without human guidance. From our view, at that point in time, the machine had taken over the search and book process. But customers did not want to lose the functionality, the features, the intelligence, the human quality of this trusted salesperson, and this was really a challenge. 这个项目所需要应对的海量的数据，呃，以及它的呃业务逻辑，呃，梳理是最大的挑战。我们公司的产品线非常丰富，销售的产品型号有数千种，每家代理商都会储备一定数量的库存。呃，因此，如何为每家代理商建立 PSI， 也就是净销存这样的数据，以及这些数据的统计规则，以。不同的数据的颗粒度以及不同的数据纬度，去汇总分析每个中国整个中国市场的销售和库存量，呃，并要尽量的降低对每家代理商的自主经营活动的影响。这不是对我们整个项目是团队非常大的挑战。Step by step, we saw sales coming in. That was very important. We saw a growing interest in. What we called back then our web sales. On the road, we learned something more. Versus the human sales process, where we received logically a lot of qualitative information, we started to collect data in a different way on the search and book process. These were digital data, accurate data, measurable data, and we started learning, changing, tuning what we did, how we organized the search search process, how we displayed. How customers could move back and forth, and how to make it much easier in terms of collecting customer data. When we became travel best travel website in 2008 in the Netherlands, and in fact it was not a technology alone for the Netherlands; it was a technology used in the Benelux or for the Benelux websites. Uh, we realize it was. Just one step out of a rewarding process. It was not an an end goal or an end point. It was just one point in something that would continue for a very much much longer time. And in 2008, to give you an indication, one out of four bookings went already through 
this what we call at that time this strange machine. 项目在二零二一年成功完成，虽然过程非常艰难，但是我们实现了最初的目标。如家大家所知，从二零二零年开始，世界发生了新冠疫情，各个行业的生产活动都受到了影响，供应链变得更加脆弱，更加不稳定。在这个时期，对 PSI 净销存的数据的掌握变得更加重要。这个项目的成功上线，帮助我们更加。合理的规划，更合理的分配资源，以获得更大的经营效益。我很高兴，在整个疫情期间，我们公司的业务仍然实现了很大的增长。I think most important two qualities were crucial to the project, and both for Thomas Cook and Delaware. And one was persistence, just to never give up. A lot of things were new and logically. A lot of mistakes were happening. They were unavoidable. Moreover, as we wanted to move fast, very fast, to gain market share, and persistence again means working together in a trustful manner and believing in each other, because otherwise it is not possible. The second quality is learning, quick learning, seeing, measuring things, and turning them quickly into added value for customers. So I think two qualities are important. I think persistence and the second one, quick learning. Uh, I think the most important factor is trust. I said earlier that the whole project is very difficult. We have tried to make a lot of experiments with Delaware's team, and we have also been in the midst of discussions. But we always believe that our business model is correct, and we have not given up on the initial goal. And also, Delaware's Chinese management team has given us strong support in the Chinese organization. 我想借此机会感谢 Edwin 和他的团队，谢谢。I I would say a very basic and simple one: have an eye for people and have an eye for people that you're going to work with. Ask yourself the questions: How much stamina do they have? How will they operate in stressful times? Can they live with uncertainty? Are they team players? Can they change? Speed of a project, and not to forget, are they fun to work with? The setting up of a team and the intelligence and drive of that team can do wonders and really makes the difference. And I still remember at the time when we worked together, Thomas Cook Delaware. This was or these were the qualities that this team had. My advice is, when in a project, when you see a very complex problem, first, don't try to find a complex answer. 复杂的表面现象背后，往往有着简单的本质。只有在洞察到问题的本质，你才可以设计出正确的答案，并且通常也是一个简单的答案。But Delaware has a great solid storyline. I strongly believe that work should be rewarding and should be something that makes people happy. And being part of a story is is crucial, is essential. And being part of a group of like-minded people is very important. I have always known Delaware as a company that makes this happen, and I think for Delaware, it's still a reality every day. Uh, I very much admire Delaware's this vision. In this vision, the employees of Delaware are not just working for a short-term gain as the goal. It is also a way to fight for a common goal. I believe Delaware's culture can unite a group of people. 聚集一群志同道合的人们，这样的团队将更富有创造力和实现目标的动机。But、as the world gets more atomized,、uh, having and living a, a valuable story, having as a company a true storyline, will become more and more important. It will attract the right people. It will make people happy. And having or not having this human value, I would say. And being able to bring this storyline to the forefront will become a motor to create a group of people that can really make a difference. I can、uh, not think how we can underestimate、uh, the power of rewarding and truthful or trustful storyline in terms of the energy it can create、uh, and in terms of innovation it can bring. I can certainly not see it firsthand. Some are changing, some are not changing. 人类的社会的组织方式必定会与现在有很大不同，但我相信人类的社会可以变得更加理智、更加宽容、更富有创造力
，我也希望德莱维能为此做出努力。But for me, this is a little emotional.、Um, I left Thomas Cook in 2013. In 19, it went bust,、um, including the in Belgian. Belgium famous brand Neckerman. In 2021, in the midst of Corona,、uh, I was asked to rebuild Neckerman, and it was a bit like going、uh, going home at、uh, my old age. In one year time, however, we started with only a brand, a motivated group of people, and a database of addresses. Today, Neckerman in the Belgian market is a very successful OTA, and again here it was the marriage of having a strong storyline and investing strongly. In a technology roadmap with very motivated people that made it happen. I'm very happy in two years ago, with the Lai Wei team, we shared the S4 HANA project's success.